Hunting bears in Maine starts with a sweet mix of cupcakes, donuts, and blueberry pie. Hunters and guides carefully bait and set their traps. Guide Tim Berry checks his cameras to see who takes the bait. There was a bear here. Ooh, look at him. Four sights later, Barry and his son Kian finally spot a good-sized bear. Let's go get a dog before the crack runs out. Hunting bears using bait, traps, and dogs is part of the tradition here. But some say that's just too easy and that the bears don't have a fair chance. Animal rights activists want these methods banned. They need to collect nearly 60,000 signatures to get their referendum on the ballot next year. They distributed these graphic videos to advance their cause. Good job, Alvarez. Good job, Luki. This is in many ways about respect, and I feel these ways are very disrespectful. We're going to take this dog in there. She's going to smell the bear and take the track and see if she can get it jump. Once the scent is picked up and the dog released, Tim Barry can follow in his truck using the GPS. If dog hunting is banned here, he will lose his job and also the sport he loves. It's, it's cool raising up a dog like a child almost and then watching it do what it was bred to do. There are more than 30,000 bears in Maine, and some biologists here say that hunting keeps their population in check. Others, however, say it's the hunters driving up the numbers because they're feeding the bears. After eight hours, Barry thinks his lead dog has caught up with the bear and chased it up a tree. But Barry figures his quarry made another run for it. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. But some hunters do manage to gun down their prey. How Blood shot this bear after tracking it with his dogs. He says he will use every bit of it and that his wife makes a delicious bear roast. The people that claim to be environmentalists really aren't because they don't live in the environment. A similar referendum to ban these methods failed to pass in 2004. But Maine has become more urbanized since then. The hunter's lifestyle and livelihood could soon become a thing of the past. Casey Kaufman, Al Jazeera, Jackman, Maine.